in this video I am going to talk about indigeneity and two stage least square instrumental variable method as a solution of indigeneity problem. I'll start with a very brief background of endogeneity and then I will show how to do two stage least square instrumental variable method in programming language R. In the second part of the video, I will talk about different diagnostics tests associated with endogeneity problem and also I will show how to do those diagnostics tests in programming language R and how to interpret those results. Here is an example of a model which has endogeneity problem and in with the endogenous variables. Here we have a dependent variable per capita food consumption expenditure, beta 0 is the intercept, then we have remittance as a variable, then household non-remittance income as a variable, household farm size as explanatory variable and we have the error term epsilon. Using this model, we in fact want to assess how household income and income from remittances and the household land holding or farm size influence the per capita food consumption expenditure. So the, the we have two variables here and then endogenous here endogenous variable that is remittance and non-remittance income. Then what is endogeneity? One of the assumptions of gauss markov theorem is that any, any linear model or ordinary least square is efficient model when the error term is error term of the residual is unrelated to the explanatory variables. That is here the error term should be unrelated with remittance, non-remittance or farm size. Wellness will be inefficient and will produce biased results when one or more of the explanatory variables are related to the residuals. So these are uh, this can rise, arise the endogeneity problem and endogeneity problem can arise for a number of reasons such as the measurement error simultaneity bias and the omitted variable. How to deal with the problem or how to deal with the endogeneity problem? There are many ways to do that but one of the most easiest and common methods is called two stage least square instrumental variable method and I am going to show how to do two stage least square method in in R. In two stage least square method we in fact instrument the endogenous variable with instruments which are related to the endogenous variable but not correlated with the residual or error term. So I will show how to do those using programming language art. You have to install a package called AER to do that. I have already installed the package. So after you install you have to load it into the library and the command is library then AER. So it's uh, loading the required package. So I am attaching my data here. So now I am I am jumping into the actual actual code or the command 
to do the uh, two SLS IB. The command is IB rag IB rag. Then we have to put the indigenous uh, the indi uh, dependent variable. We have dependent variable per capita food consumption expenditure. Then we need to use the tilde sign. And then we need to put the indigenous variable. We are separating those, and now we. I am going to use one of the explanatory variable that is the exogenous variable as one of the instruments. And and the next I am replacing the two endogenous variable with two instruments I have here access to electricity as the instrument for income variable and distance variable as the instrument for remittance. So let us see the result now. Here is the result. These are the parameters of our model. The estimated coefficients. We can see correlation between remittance and per capita food consumption expenditure is positive even non remittance income which is also positively correlated with per capita food consumption expenditure and farm size is negatively correlated with the per capita food consumption expenditure it makes sense because if the uh, the household has a larger farm then they are pa they they consume their own product production then the per capita food consumption expenditure will decrease so we can see the the probability value are significant statistically significant so this is the estimation process of 2 LSL 2 SLS in in R but there are number of diagnostic tests we need to do that because to test whether the instruments are sufficiently strong and the consistency between ULS and TSLS IV method and also also the over identify, identifying restrictions that is if we use more than one instruments we need to do that the that test so uh, to see uh, at least one of the uh, instruments are valid so so these are the very important diagnostic tests we need to do if we use the in, uh, if we if we use two stage least square instrumental variable method so in the second part of the video i'll i'll show how to do those diagnostic steps using programming language r and also very importantly how to interpret those results so i'll talk in details in the second part of the video Thank you very much.